Hi everyone, welcome to workshop block printing with foam. My name is Bill Mitchell and I'm a jury printmaker with the League of New Hampshire Craftsmen. We're not at Mount Sunnaby this year, so instead the League is holding our very first virtual craft fair. You might have taken this short class with me in the past in front of the Spruce Lodge, but for our vir virtual class, we're here in my Dover, New Hampshire studio. I hope this video will be about 10 minutes long. We'll do all the steps. So let's, let's begin. Block printing is a process of carving into a flat surface to create a traditional printing block. Traditionally, wood and linoleum are used for a block print, but today we're using sheets of soft styrofoam, and it's a very easy and inexpensive and safe material to carve into. You can get uh, styrofoam trays, like at the grocery store, they come with like vegetables or takeout. Or you could get like a, a, a foam block plate like this from an art, art store. You can cut the material out into a shape and decorate it with a, with a ballpoint pen carving lines into the areas of the foam that you want to uh, print. Here's an example. Every, everywhere where you see the green areas are, are the lines that have been carved into the plate. Where, where you see black, that's the, the raised surface of the foam. I'm going to just go through some uh, student examples here. I have a number of examples to show you to get us started. And these are all created by past students. And you should be able to do this type of printmaking by the end of our class. So more of our, our blocks and some prints that are created from the blocks. Lots of, lots of different ways to use this material. Here's a few more. These were done with like a Star Wars theme for a class. The the block and the and the print. What you're going to need is um, the foam. You'll need some paper to print on. You'll need a ballpoint pen or a pencil to carve into the, into the block. You'll need a, a, a rubber brayer to roll out your ink. You'll need some printmaking ink. You get this at Michael's. And you'll need a, a flat, clean surface to roll your ink out. I'll, uh, I'll make a list of materials at the end of the video so that you can uh, write down what you're going to need for this workshop. So to begin, I have a, a foam tray here that I got at the grocery store with some vegetables. What you can do is you can take a pair of scissors and you can cut the sides off the tray to make your a flat printing block. So I'm just going to take my scissors and cut the four sides off the tray. So you have a completely flat surface here to make uh, start using for your block. Now I could just draw right on here with a with a ballpoint pen and and start making my design or I could I could take a, a stencil this is a stencil of a bear that we use up at the up at the mountain at, at my craft show craft demonstration I'm going to take the bear and I'm just going to trace the outline of my bear This is just a simple stencil that I I downloaded and cut out 
but you can you can you can make any kind of a stencil or image that you want using this material. The next steps would be to cut cut out the bear with a pair of scissors until you have a piece of foam that looks like this. I'm going to take the uh, bear now. After, let's pretend I cut it out. I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to slowly push down with the, the end of the pen. Try to create a little groove in the material. Now I'd like to stop right here for a minute. I'd like to show everybody this material. You can buy it online. I usually use the vendor called Blick.com and it's called Innovart uh, uh, Craft Foam or Presto Foam. The foam is very thin and much easier to carve into than a thicker piece of foam that you would buy at the grocery store. So I'm just throwing that out to you as a as a alternate to using a, a piece of foam from a vegetable tray. So I've, fr I've finished carving my foam plate. If you look here, there's like a, a pattern on it. There's triangles, straight lines, circles, wavy lines. It can be any kind of pattern. It can be any kind of um, design on the foam. I'm going to take my uh, printing ink here at this point and on a piece of glass here I'm going to put a little stripe of ink I'm going to grab my brayer put a little bit of ink on it to begin with and I'm going to start rolling it just a little bit of ink to start you don't want to have too much ink on your on your roller or too little you want it to be just right right in the middle if you hear the brayer start to make a little sticky sound that usually tells you that you have the right amount of ink and as you do roll it back and forth you can see that there's little lines that are getting smaller and smaller that means I'm reducing the ink on my on my brayer got a piece of newspaper here. I'm going to slowly roll my ink on the block. And if you look at it, you'll see the ink roll is rolled on the raised surface and the grooves are where there there is no ink. So in block printing, where does the ink go? It goes on the raised surface of the image. I'm gonna grab myself a piece of um, this of uh, paper. This is uh, just plain copy paper that I bought at Staples. I take my uh, my block. I'm just gonna drop it right on there. And once I drop it, I'm not gonna move it. If I move it, I'll I'll smudge it. Just like I tap it down, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put slight pressure on it with the palm of my hand. Trying to get all the areas of the, of the image to print on the paper. Try not to leave out any of the small details. I can hold down the paper and I can peel it from a corner to see what the design looks like. And we have a finished print right here. There's the print and there's our, our block. The thing with block printing is once you have this block, you can make as many of these images as you'd like. You could uh, use fabric ink here and print it on a t-shirt. You could uh, make greeting cards, invitations, whatever you, whatever you uh, would like to do with your block. Now, 
If I wanted to, I could take this block, I could wash it off, dry it, and and try it, try a different color on it. Before I close here right now, I want to show you one last one last uh, project. This is a block a student did of a of a pug. Um, they did a, a style of drawing called Zentangle to create a pattern all over the uh, the plate. We take we take it we take uh, the stencil and we trace that the outline of it on a piece of paper. And then you could take this piece of paper and you could paint or use colored pencils to color in this shape or even watercolors. Once you've done that, you can take your take your plate and print a color on top of that painting. And create like a design like that. There's another. And here's another. In closing, I, I want to remind people the materials you will need for the printmaking class can be found at Michael's Hobby Lobby or online at BickLick.com. And if you have questions, please email me at wcmprints at comcast.net. And to learn more about my prints and my printmaking, please visit MitchellSerigraphPrints.com. Uh, enjoy your week at our virtual fair and hope to see you on the mountain next, next summer. Bye.